Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and welcome to the recording video tutorial. It's very easy in Control My Nikon to activate the video recording functionality of your camera. Now this is only available on the Nikon D7000 and the D5100. Only those two bodies are able to remotely tell the camera to start recording and stop recording. The D300S, the D90, the D3S, all those are able to record video. However, Nikon did not provide a way to remotely control the video capture. So only those two camera bodies can use the video in Control My Nikon. Okay, let's take a look at how we can record some video in Control My Nikon. First thing we need to do is turn on Live View. And I have a D7000 here hooked up and uh, with a 105mm macro lens and we're just looking at a flower. Now there's not much motion here to record video but uh, it'll do for our demo here today. Now the way we record video is basically click on this button here which is Vid Plus to start recording video and to stop recording video hit Vid Minus. Now before you do that you might want to set the aspect ratio of the live view image because what you see here is what you're going to get on your video. Now if you want to use a histogram in a what you see is what you get mode then you need to turn your movie mode to manual on the camera body and you can do that by setting it on the LCD screen on the menu on the camera and when you do that then the histogram here will be exactly what your exposure really is. If you don't set it to manual mode, then the histogram is only going to show what the exposure for the live view is. However, the exposure for the movie will be somewhat different. So, let's change the aspect ratio here. Now, normally, the video modes supported by the Nikon cameras are at an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. This is helpful if you set your aspect ratio before you start shooting so you could see exactly what it's going to look like and that you're not trying to capture some imagery that is outside the upper lower boundaries of the image. If you intend later on to further crop this, for example to 1.85 to 1 or 2.39 to 1, which is full cinematic cropping, your video as it's recorded will be still 16 to 9 However, this is what it would look like if you cropped it in post-processing to 2.39 to 1. So I'm going to bring it back to 16 to 9 and start recording. So to start recording, I just hit Vid Plus. And now it's recording. And the video file is being stored on the camera memory card. I'm just going to jiggle around the flower a little bit here, give it a little bit of motion. There is an action video. Okay, now anytime you're ready to stop, you just hit vid minus. It says, are you sure? Yep, we're sure. It doesn't automatically transfer your video back from the camera to the computer. And because these videos can be very large, it could take minutes to download these. To retrieve your video, you just need to shut down Control My Nikon and then go to your memory card and retrieve the video. So you can use the vid plus and vid minus, but there's also shortcuts that help you turn on video recording and then turn it off. And here they are right here. So if you wanted to, you could change this shortcut to start recording and stop recording. So you could have one key on the keyboard to start, another key to stop. So let's try that. I'm just going to go Y to start and U to stop. So now I'll hit Y to start recording, and you can see it's recording, and I'll hit U to stop, and I'll hit OK. So now I've recorded two videos. Now if you set your camera in manual mode, there's several things that can be changed while the video is running. And typically you could change the ISO, so I change the ISO higher, it makes it brighter, I'll bring it back to 400. You could change the shutter speed, and I'll bring it back. And normally when you are recording video, you'd like to be able to set the shutter speed at twice the speed 
of your frame rate. So uh, we're recording at 24 frames a second, so that'd be 48 frames per second. So let's see what our closest is. 45. But that's going to make it pretty bright, so I'm going to just decrease my ISO. And yeah, that's not too bad. Now if you need to darken this further, you'll need to increase your aperture or you'll need to apply a neutral density filter. And also don't forget to calibrate your white balance before you start recording. So now we've made all these changes. If I wanted to stop, I can hit vid minus. You can change a focus before you start recording. However, you cannot change the focus while you're recording. That's a limitation from Nikon. The same with the aperture, you could change it before you go into live view, but you cannot change it once you're in live view or while you're recording. So let's give that a try. Let's say here I am in live view, I want to change my aperture, f16 to f8, doesn't make a difference. If I wanted to go to f8, I'll need to leave live view, set it to f8, and then open it up again. Okay, I'm going to put it back to F16. And now with the focus, I could change it while in live view, but once I start recording, focus does not change. Which is a real shame, because it'd be very nice to be able to do a focus pull while recording your video. So that's how you record video in Control My Nikon. And that's how you record video in Control My Nikon. Now I'm just going to shut down the Control My Nikon here for a moment. Control My Nikon has a special application called Cinematographer Pro. This is available as a separate download. Now this program is a dedicated Nikon video application. And I'm just going to double click on it here. Now it looks way different and you can see it says right off the bat it's only for the D7000 and the D5100. A Cinematographer Pro is really intended to be used for people who are really just shooting video. You can't even take a still photo with Cinematographer Pro. I'm just going to connect and press Live View. Now here's the same video that we're looking at before and actually we're just in Live View mode and just like Control My Nikon we can start recording. And when this flashes it means it's recording and then we could stop recording. Now there's some other things we can do with this as well. We could turn on the rule of thirds for composition. You can specify an inner and outer histogram to be able to see that you have a proper exposure. And uh, that's very handy for setting up lighting for skin tone. So that was the inner and here's the outer where there's nothing on this particular exposure. You can see histogram up here. I'm just going to press it again. Those are the different histograms available, and plus you can just focus with just clicking once on the screen. And normally, when you are shooting video, you're not in autofocus mode at all. So uh, I'm just going to turn off live view, and we'll just look at some of the different settings we have here. We can set the theme to a light or a dark theme, specify whether it's a D7000 or a D5100. We could set what the luminance values are to give us an inner value. And so here it'll light up green if the luminance is between 50 and 75. Here it'll light up red if the luminance is between 10 and 245. And you can also set the aspect ratio. So if let's say we intend to have a 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio on our final uh, edited film. Now I'm going to go to live view. That's what we have. So this is designed to fit on a very small monitor, so it can act as a field monitor. You can set up a netbook or a, a laptop or even a touch Windows tablet, run this application, and the buttons are very large so you can uh, use a touch screen. So that's Cinematographer Pro. If you're interested in really just doing uh, a lot of video, Cinematographer Pro has a lot of bells and whistles to really help you out. And that's it. That's how you do video and control my icon and cinematographer pro. Happy tethering.